So today we are going to meander around this little town just south of Novi Sad and taste some wines, some local wines, and possibly check out uh, some beekeepers and a little museum if it opens. We are at Vinaria Vinum. We're the first ones here. She's kind enough to let us in and give us a little tour. So check it out. This is the winery we're at, and on the back of the coasters is a little to be able to talk about our what we taste and what we smell. This is the most popular wine in this area, but Gauga will be able to explain it way better. So this is our golden graches, and this graches, the brick one that we put in the old barrels for one year, uh, for this wine we got a double gold medal last year in the Balkan competition. Uh, sparkling graches, we are calling it Dina. Dina is the name of grandfather of the owner of the winery. So uh, this Dina, at the first year when we put it on the market, it was the best wine of Balkans. In 2021, wow. it was the best sparkling wine in Serbia. Nice. Yes, yeah. we are very proud. Of, we are very proud of our Grashets. Their most popular wine. Soft Blanc. This is the Kosovic. Kosovic. Kosovic winery. Right next door. The other one. This is their Cabernet Sauvignon. Nice nose to it. Stainless, as you can see behind me. On to the next one. On our way to the bee making and wine museum, we were trying to get in. Long story short, this beautiful, wonderful lady saw me try to pull the knob, took us here. We are now in a little festival. It's like a little medieval festival. This is before it opens. Um, and there's like axe throwing and archery. And they're basically trying to like recreate the medieval times. So this will be fun. What an adventure. Yeah, well, uh, sure. So they're yeah, quite light. Can I slide out of your hand, yeah? Uh, you can. So you can do it from here, from this position. You can, you know, move your light up over. Uh -huh. uh, uh, at first, you need to check how many. Uh, how can I say how many rotations? Rotations yeah. you, you need to uh, yeah to hit. So okay. here we go. <laughs> okay. Right in the center. All right. All right. So you have an idea how? Yeah. Okay. Less. Just throw it. It's okay. I really want to nail that target with the axe, though. All right, that was very good. <laughs> you would be dead, yeah? Yes, okay. definitely. <laughs> I lived this round. My English was so perfect because I'm it just semen. I'm just semen. I'm not. <laughs> it's very good. Okay, so uh, this uh, place for storage wine uh, in the wooden barrels. And this one was made it uh, during the Maria Theresia time, and uh, all, mostly all the storage places in Sremski Karlovci was made it in one time, uh, because wine in Sremski Karlovci is it's amazing, it's really something. 
at least we have three uh, different type of wine which produce it only in these places. Oh. There is a uh, very famous wine, Bermet. Yeah, you can find this Bermet in Green Card in uh, Titanic also. Uh -huh. The next one is Sila. Sila, this is very interesting playing of world because Sila in uh, Russian language, this is power. Uh -huh. And here uh -huh. Sila, this is a little bit other idea of naming this wine, but it's very good one, this white wine. This is Sila. Oh, okay. So, and uh, another one, this is uh, still produced in Sremski Karlovci, Barik. Barik, this is uh, French word, when the wine still produced by old uh, possibilities. So, they're using the really barrel, wooden barrel, not chips, like this piece of wood in some mm. metal barrel. This is really Barik. Barik we have also. Okay, why is this in plastic bottle? Because we took this exactly from winery and this is, will be consumed in a few days, so this is not, not so important to keep in, in glass like this. Uh, Can we try the silic? Did you of course. Sila, Sila. 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 Oh, camera. Oh, no, <laughs> you, you, no, okay, it's not wine, but... No, 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 this is Beautiful Sila. Beautiful country. Uh, thank you. But this is very nice, very nice taste and okay. it's like refreshing. Really refreshing. It's not like wine which you drink that just for drink. <laughs> no, that's like a liquor. Something. Oh, yeah. Little bit like brute champagne without gases. My opinion. This little bit something. Mm -hmm. Dry, but not so dry. <laughs> but uh, not so I sweet. Like... This is very important. Yeah. All these balances. Yeah. It's definitely strong. And you need to... Rakia, different one. Or oh, not, still yeah, not. that's the brand. No, I was born in Ukraine. So uh -huh. I, I usually, like always, traditionally in Ukraine, we drink uh, vodka, vino, yeah. beer, different one. Yes. Yeah. Rakia, you can drink separate without nothing, just for tasty, uh, for, for, for pleasure. Vodka, this is you uh, need to drink together with uh, a lot of food, yeah. usually. But yeah. Rakia, you can drink little bit and tasty all evening, just small piece, and you enjoy, really enjoy. You have taste, you have smell and you have aftertaste. Shlivovica. This is traditional rakia from Shliva, uh, plump, which produced in Bosnia. This is from my grandpa. He makes this for his family, for everybody. When I come in, he always says, ah, you come in, take, take, take. A lot of uh, sometimes problem because this is another country and uh, you need to pass in the border with only one liter. But sometimes they give to you a lot and okay, the policeman on the border, they where he was from? I'm from my grandpa here, and he knows this is not for sale. This is for just for enjoy, for drink, for everything. Yeah. Okay, this is not original label. This label of us, our club. This is just oh, I love that. using here. So this is Shliva. Also, when they produce, no any piece of sugar, no any piece of additional chemical, nothing. Just plump, plump. Then keep the, on about 47 days in the drum, and after 47 days, you have already this uh, mm, uh, alcohol inside with everything, and they're yeah. using. Distillation apparatus. This is uh, Kazan. You just take the smell. This is fantastic smell, fantastic taste, and aftertaste. So why is Rakia is uh, like for me is the number one in the world for alcohol? You can enjoy. You can drink just little bit, just for tasty, and this is enough. Uh, the Serbian guys usually during the working day they drink one shot, little bit, and continuously work hard worker. And this yeah. is not. Uh, it helps you work harder too. Yeah, it warms yes. you up and keeps you going. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Uh, uh, yeah. That's delicious. Yeah, little sip. It's sweet almost too. Sweet, and yeah. then you're feeling this uh, hot uh, Warm. flame yeah. slowly going your body down. Yeah. Wow. This is so amazing. Thank you so much. We just left an amazing fundraiser. Um, that was fun. It was fun. And now we're trying to find a way home. Very medieval. Yeah, but 
Hopefully we don't get a medieval ride home. I mean, if someone had a horse and wanted to give us a ride home, I would definitely take it. I mean, if they could take two of us. Maybe well, you could be in one saddlebag, I'd be in another saddlebag. Maybe bag. there'd be two horses. I'm not sure. <laughs> really strong. Yeah, this, <laughs> this one's strong. Yes. <laughs> that one's <was> like... <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, hello there. It's just a fresh food night in Serbia. And then some chicken. You know why chicken's funny, right? Because... <laughs> just kidding.